hello my fellow car modelers, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Lucas Kits. And I pulled one off the shelf that is a little different. Some of you old timers who've been in the hobby for a long time probably recognize this. And there's probably a lot of you that never were aware that something like this was ever put out by any of the model companies. How unique. And I believe that uh, there was maybe only two tractor pole type vehicles ever put out. One was, of course, this own Orange Blossom Special. Really, really cool kit. And then there was also a whole car hauler with what was a converted funny car, like a Dodge funny car, early 80s Dodge funny car that had had the, uh, the mud tires on the back. That was the Tennessee Thunder. There was a whole series of unique mud-related motorsports vehicles that uh, AMT back in this time kitted like the Bigfoot, the first Bigfoot, and a, a whole host of, of monster trucks. And they also did that big tractor puller, the, the multi-engine Meisterbrow blazing bison sled pulling tractor. That was a real popular one everybody used to like to buy because you got so many engines in one kit and most of these kits were more <laughs> bought for kit bashing fodder which is the reason why i own this kit i actually have two of them this one is relatively all there from what i previously checked my other one is very very robbed and um, I always wanted to build a four-wheel drive tractor puller like a Ford pickup I was working on and I wanted it to be a four-wheel drive tractor pull thing and so I bought two of these kits for all the parts so I could get a set of the the rear tires that come in this and where do you see these but this this kit I pilfered the other one this one is kind of I think all there I hope but it, it's been rummaged through, so things are off the tree. But I think this is a great example of this kit. If you've never, ever, ever, ever knew that this was ever out and you've ever wanted to do a tractor puller, no matter what body you do, or you just want to do it like this, the parts and the frame in this kit are worth the price of admission. Way do you see this. So let's let's take a look at it. Obviously, this was a actual, real performance vehicle, you know, a, a tractor puller, pickup truck beautiful box art and uh, we've got on the side you know good detail shots of the built model it's very simplified in the engine area um, not even sure what engine it depicts let's see if it says over here it talks about it that was a 454 supercharged Chevy engine authentic Chevy truck cab and you know custom frame it where do you see this it's very cool the parts that are in this are just incredible so let's uh pop open the box and take a look you got your amt with a beautiful graphic on there a beautiful set of instructions that just show you right there you get a glimpse look at that frame this is probably the weakest part of this kit is the engine back then they didn't do a lot of detail you got somewhat of the shape of a big block chevy and it's accoutrement that go with it accoutrement what is that nothing to really write home about but that's not what you're getting this kit for it's all this stuff and where do you see the tires and wheels and look at that suspension and everything and now this one depicts again a two-wheel drive tractor puller so again if you wanted to do a four-wheel drive one which is what i want to do or if you check out a modern one that was really cool tim brown from throttle power did this video right here go check that out that dodge was really cool and actually it was watching his video that reminded me i had these kits and made me go i always wanted to do a tractor pull truck a four-wheel drive one and yep okay cool i still got these so let's take a look at the chrome it's kind of a weird already busted into the bag so let's just get this all open beautiful chrome there's so many cool pieces eh, look at that nice tread pattern there on the running boards and you got your Chevy grill for the, the pickup truck thing uh, yeah those uh, valve covers I don't know what's going on there they're they're not really that great mm -hmm. yeah on the uh, blower all that stuff the engine parts another chrome tree that is got you know your your zoomy header pipe sticking out and your front and rear wheels 
there's your front wheels and very 80s the rear wheels are really deep they were so deep every one I've ever seen you could see there were, I don't know if you can see the the orange but there was just some parts of it that the chrome plating wouldn't get down in there so the orange would reflect all over the place and that kind of would kill those wheels but you know nothing that silver paint can't help and the fuel cells tanks whatever you'd have typical stuff of that era of models uh, from AMT when it came to the engine here's a really cool tree and of course injected in a different colored plastic which was appropriate you just you really wouldn't have to paint them because these things were plastic but these were the weights that they would hang on the front bumpers to uh, to kind of counterweight you know and set up the vehicle for the pulling and these are just really nice let's see let's take out this one here since it's loose and you can kind of see how cool is that that's a must-have when you're doing a tractor puller and they gave you plenty look at that you could just rack the whole front up or just put on one side however you wanted but yeah these were just uh, plastic uh, bottles or whatever you would call them they'd fill them with with either water or sand I believe but just a just a cool thing and uh, here this is this is this is what it's all about this is like the probably the greatest feature of this kit these freaking tires that were specifically Dixie Peck uh, mud tires that were purpose-built for tractor pulling man they're just squatty wide big paddles on them I guess if you were also doing like a sand dragster but just a just an awesome tire beautiful tire and uh, no, the, this the the uh, I was working on something else. I think I was going to make a hot rod or something using this body for something else, and I cut the door out. It did not come with opening doors, but pretty nice. Uh, what I don't even know what year Chevy this is. I'm I'm not good at those those early years. Let's see if it says on the box. Doesn't say a damn thing on the box. Just said it's a Chevy truck. But I don't know what a '48 Chevy pickup. I think it is. Um, it really is a very good looking 48 Chevy pickup. Got your interior with your your diamond tuck interior. Not even race seats. Got a bench seat in there all diamond plate or not diamond plate, diamond tuck or however you, whatever you call that. And there's the tonneau cover. Look at there's part of the big fat rear end and some of the suspension parts. That's uh, one of the uh, suspension drag link arms or whatever that would be a um, control arm just your solid front axle just a big beefy front axle with all the different supports uh, there's more parts down in the bottom of the box we'll get to there you can see a lot of the stuff is off yeah you can see how eh, nothing much of it just a head shaped head nothing spectacular there but it's part of the pulling apparatus is 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 uh, I'm not sure what that tank is for, but just little pieces in that and the drive shaft and inner wheel stuff. There's the other part of that rear end. I mean, it's pretty decent detail. Some kind of power ram right there. But here, check this out. Here's one half of the frame and the front suspension already kind of molded onto it you know the springs there which they're not too bad not too bad I, there's a whole bunch of cross members that you have to put together and uh, you've got your your whole frame right there you can see where there's spots where you put cross members or and you kind of build the whole frame but look at that what a cool polar tractor polar frame that right there I mean you know this this kit got bought up back in there there's the other tire this kit bought it, got bought up back in the day. I have an extra wheel in there. Yeah, the front tires were just these tires that were in all the AMT kits of the day. You know, anything that's like a 50s, 60s car. And that's all you did. Bam. There's your front wheels and tires and the glass. But uh, these kits were bought up mainly. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, um, Orange Blossom Special built <laughs> at any show. Everybody would buy these to basically raid for the parts. I've seen so many cool, cool builds 
of, you know, they take a Chevy pickup body or a Ford pickup body, which what I was working on at the time. There's part of the cross members that add in, you know, to connect the two frame rails. Oh, there's the hood. It's got a big open area for the blower to stick out. These mostly got sacrificed for, for uh, doing all kinds of different tractor pull vehicles. Here's the front fenders. You got all separate fenders. The front fenders, the rear fenders for the, the bed. And then you got your bed that has this set to where you could pu put the put the rear fender. Let's see. This would just fit on there like that. And there's your bed. And, uh, well, if you're wanting to make a more stock vehicle you'd sand that down and just move that forward and you could probably make yourself a cool street rod with the body that was remaining which was my plan the body that was remaining after you took all these cool parts and this cool frame here uh, to make yourself your tractor pole so these things if you ever I, I think they go for really big money now because they only did this for a short time and they only did this 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 version this it I don't think they ever reissued this um, which is a bummer it would be cool if these molds are around this is something this is a kit that I think if the molds still exist round two should put this back out it would be a hit it would it's such a unique interesting um, subject matter not a lot done with it and it'd be really cool it was cool back in the day when this was a regular kit you'd find it anywhere hobby shops toy stores and everybody was buying them up to build uh build tractor pullers and you used to see a lot of different tractor pullers back in the day at the model shows and you just don't see that anymore it's just a cool cool another version of motorsports you know that uh you just don't see a lot of but really cool, very interesting kit. Just giving you a quick look. Lot, they, they, they took a lot of time and a lot of the important detail back then to make one of these. Very cool subject matter. I'm glad I got one that's all complete. Uh, I don't think I'd ever build the, the Orange Blossom Special, but I do want to build a tractor puller. And like I said, I have another one of these kits that's kind of been parted out already. Uh, I have enough to do everything to make a four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive tractor puller. Still want to do one. I started working on that tractor puller back in the early 90s, and I stopped and put it away because the story I've told you about the scar right there, that was a model I was working on when I opened up my finger nice and good. So it got put aside for a little while until I could get back to it after I healed. And 30 something, 32 years later, I don't even know where that, I don't even know where it's at. Um, I looked in both, I was expecting to find it in the other box, and all I found was just a lot of the parts. So I might find some more of those parts in wherever that Ford truck was. As a matter of fact, the Ford I was using, I think, was the body out of the Destroyer monster truck, which was kind of that monster truck, tractor puller, exotic, you know brute force type uh, motorsports that AMT was covering back in the day. Oops, let's not forget, I got to put my instructions back into there. That's cool. I, I haven't busted open this kit and looked at it in decades. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> that was a neat looking at this. And uh, if you ever see a good deal on one of these, I suggest you grab it. It's got some amazing, amazing parts in it or it would be a really cool build. I couldn't show you the decals. I remember the decals. I have no idea where they went. The decals were really cool. They did a really good job of doing this orange blossom special for the side there and made it look airbrushed. And then you see these really cool groovy graphics on the bed. That was all done on the decal sheet. Very accurate. If you actually did want to build this model, you could really, or the, this actual vehicle, you could do a very good job uh, depicting that that car as it as it really was a truck or tractor it's a car truck tractor hot rod I don't know it's just damn cool go down in the description below click on my teespring store and go check out the new cups and mugs and shirts we have and mugs and shirts and coming out with some new stuff 
We have a new mug that is uh, for the Model Car Guys show, and we got a shirt coming on the way for the Model Car Guys, and more new things coming, getting designed, getting ready to pop onto the store. So go check that out. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and you keep gluing those fingers together, and you keep cutting that styrene, and we'll see you in the next video. Here's the producer. Lucas kids, it's Lucas kids, it's Lucas kids.